every birth defect, everything comes out of the black. Period. Everything, the good, the bad, the ugly, comes out. White people are Hebrews. They, they, well, I, could, uh -oh, I, could, uh -oh. I could be considered a white Hebrew if you just go by physical, but if you do DNA and you get that deep down in there, you see we was in Babylon, you see we was in Sumer, you see we were in, in Egypt, that we we got that, you know, the E1B1, the, my haplo group, which is T haplo group, is found amongst the Limba, it's found amongst the, the uh, Horn of Africa. All of these different regions, you know what I mean? We, we going back, we, we ran Iberia, the Iberian Jews were all black, the Moors, so-called, you have period, so that's the Ashkenazi convert. I thought, I thought a Hebrew, they converted. I thought a Hebrew and an Israelite were different because a Hebrew would be an Edomite still, but an Israelite wouldn't be an Edomite. Well, yeah, Hebrew, Hebrew is, is, is a language. Hebrew. It's a language. Hebrew. Yeah, it, it's so, a language. You know, like Esau that's would be the ancestor. Esau? He'd be Hebrew, but he wouldn't be he, Israelite. No, he would, he would be, you're technically correct right. because he comes from. But he wouldn't be Israelite, though. Like not from well, yeah, because it would be from his brother's right. lineage. So there's know? a difference between an Israelite and a Hebrew. Yeah, well, just like, so white people could be Hebrews, but they well, can't be Israel. You know, Hebrew, yeah. the language uh, is, is, is uh, like Am Amorite, they would say, or uh, it predates, it goes it, like to Canaan. Now, here's you know the only saying? problem I have. How can you prove that Africans are Hamites? Well, not all Africans. I, I don't period. believe that. I'm not with that doctrine. Well, I'm you saying know, in general. Because we were scattered all through Africa. You know what I'm saying? So then some got dropped off in Haiti, some in Dominican Republic, Facts. some in Puerto Rico. Facts. Facts. You know, it's all through the Caribbean. They, you know? Your name is Demont War Cloud? War Cloud. Yes, yeah, yes, yeah, I like your teachers, brother. Like, Thank I, you, King. I appreciate you. Some Thank you, my love. It's a I shame that, brothers, that, you, that you from Cali where you don't get to see the unification of all the original peoples of this earth. Well, they have IUIC. You know what I mean? You know Gorilla from Cali right there. Oh, is he? Yeah, he, he from, from, from the Bay, right? San Diego, I think. He from Dago? Yeah. Yep. Oh, y'all holla at bro in a minute. I holla at blood in a minute. He, I know he from that. He got, hey, blood, you from Dago? Yeah, 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 you already know. Doing so yeah, you know about the, the Somalis, you know what I mean? The the Australians, all of those half low groups that Yeah. I'm from Reno. Oh you Murder, okay, I'm over, I'm over at Murder Valley. What's yeah, up, what's brother? <laughs> okay, okay. What's that? Murder what? Murder Valley, Murder Valley, that's what we call it. Murder Valley, you know. It's got one of them one of them areas, you understand what I'm saying? Y'all know y'all know where they how they got their reputation back in the early two thousand. Well nah, yeah, I'm 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 originally I stay in San Diego, but I, I I'm originally from Seattle, LA. Then I moved to San Diego, you understand what I'm saying? But you already know. No doubt. You already know. You just came out here today? Yeah, I came out here to build with Saw, man. Okay, Balvin. Just trying with the brothers uh starting uh, you know. Pretty much we all read the same book, we have a little slight difference. Yes, sir. We read the same book and after the same world, waking our people up, saving our people. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. But, uh, yeah, I came to build with the brother. And really, I came out here to build with uh, him, Cesario, and uh, Irritate Genie on this no homo shit, man. Yes, sir. Because, uh, you know, that's, to me, that's one of the number one. Number, not if, that is the number one killer of our community. Big issue, big, big, big issue, issue right now. Man. Yes, sir. Big issue. So that's like, you know, to me, that right there in itself is a war tactic that we have yet to learn how to combat. Yeah, oh yeah. Because now we're being told we got to accept it. You see what I'm saying? We're being told we got to accept it. You know, and ain't nothing we can say about it. You know what I mean? Yeah, exactly. It worked. Would have said he was taking the knee for the gays? They would say he was a hero. Yeah. yeah. Listen, this the we where there'll be a billboard of this nigga on the exactly. on, the, on the building. Yeah. He should have. He should have. Now watch this. I did it. I did it for the gays and I did it for the blacks. And, 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 and you would have just added the gays. Exactly. But but watch this though. But we that, gotta that we gotta watch what these crackers is gonna get ready to do in Haiti because you know Haiti just voted to criminalize homosexuality with a five hundred thousand gore fine and a, uh, and the jail sentence. You know so now we gotta see if they gonna you know what I mean. Now what is Haiti? The first black republic, yeah, what does that and the Levites. You know. To any black person that thinks about uprising, what's going to happen? Yeah, exactly. We gonna keep you down. That's why they always making an example out of us and doing, you know, doing what they do down there. You know what I'm saying? Areas of particular people, especially. You know what I mean? Con. And another thing too, like with the Haiti situation, bro, it's crazy because you know Canada just legalized the shit with the animals. Yeah, yeah, with the animals, con. Haiti. Oh, yeah. oh no, you good? Go ahead, King. Uh, Haiti and Canada, you know, they're both French. Yeah, yeah, French, yeah. So watch the animal thing come over to Haiti. I'm telling you, man, it's, they're sick. These crackers are sick, man. That's why I said this pedophilia, this BCL, this homosexuality, all that shit is intertwined, man. All that shit is intertwined, bro. So what you doing out here? Man, we, doing, we got an event tonight. Oh, word. National Black Theater and an event tomorrow. We got an event tonight, National Black Theater. And then we got, where's the reunion going to be at? Side, side. National Black Theater as well? 
around the corner, Alhambra Ballroom, we got the reunion tomorrow. So, yeah, we're right, going yeah. all weekend. What time is it tomorrow? I'm going to have to go through that what joint, son. the reunion? Five? One okay, the you really started at one o'clock. Bet, 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 man. Event so tonight what's the event about, man? Wanna give a little touch on it? What is what's going down? Yeah, or? yeah, we going it's it's gonna be called Hebrews on Trial. So we're we gonna be giving various presentations myself, Divine Prospect, uh Priest Danyala, uh Hashar, the brother Sha'al, some other brothers we're gonna be giving a um a presentation, but Captain Tazariak. Woo! All star lineup. All star lineup. Let me ask you one question, brother. So what's the difference between a Hebrew and an Israelite? That's a great question. Hebrew, from a biblical perspective, are people who are descendants of Eber. That's not limited to Israelites. But Israelites are the sons of Jacob, whose name was changed to Israel, who are the chosen people who the, the uh, promise was passed down to from Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. So that's where the term Hebrew, Israelites, comes from. Hebrew, which is Eber a man, and then Israel, who is also a man, to get more specific. But nationally, we are Israelites. Okay. Now, can I ask you, as far as... Um what you guys are doing out here? Because, like I said, I'm not really with the you know the debate type thing because I'm about unification. Yes, I you know definitely subscribe to the Bible. Um, I'm just so you know I'm an Orthodox Ethiopian Christian. You know what I'm saying? So we deal with the 80 81 uh, books. You know what I'm saying? Which y'all call the apocrypha yes, as well. Um, my only thing is, man, I don't know if your camp subscribe to it, but I know there are camps that do subscribe to it. My only reason why I'm not a part of a camp, I swear to you, is because I have a major issue with. The uh, I don't want to say hate, but the um, the distancing between us and so-called Africans or Hamites. And my my problem is one, I haven't seen any proof that Africans are Hamites uh, biblically. Um, two, um, I just want to know why is it that Africans are seen as an enemy, the same as these Europeans in some Hebrew sex uh, minds or you know philosophy. Yeah, good question. Good question. Um. First and foremost, when we deal with, from the biblical perspective, uh, Egypt, which is goes back to the Hebrew word uh, Mizraim or Matazayim, which is, you know, the people of, of, of the land of Kemet, those would be the people who we would deem the Hamites along with the Cushites and et cetera, et cetera, right? Those would be the children of Ham. In ancient times, before white people were had any prevalence or any power on the earth, we, you know, people of color had power on the earth and we would war with each other. You understand what I'm saying? So in times past, they have been enemies unto us, which is why you see certain of the sentiment. Certain of the anti-African sentiment also comes from um, misunderstanding as well, uh, predicated upon the fact that we know there's a, a great deal of Hebrew Israelites that are in Africa. You see what I'm saying? Whether they're conscious of it or aren't conscious of it. Some brothers don't fully have that understanding. They haven't studied to understand that there's certain uh, people are part of the uh, the Israelite diaspora that still remain on the continent of Africa. So what what people got to understand is, which of course you understand, is that the word Africa is not synonymous with somebody being a Hamite. You understand what I'm saying? That doesn't mean the same thing. A lot of brothers will will jump to that conclusion that Africa means a Hamite. You see what I'm saying? And Africa doesn't mean a Hamite because when we deal with the tectonic plate. Israel is on the tectonic plate of Africa. And even when we deal with the promised land that was promised to Abraham, it was from the Nile to the Euphrates, and nobody would dispute whether or not the Nile is in Africa. You see what I'm saying? So the brothers got to kind of drop this, you know, we we fascinated about this Africa thing because Africa conceptually, you know, it has nothing to do with a lineage or a nation. Like That's why you qualified it beautifully and said the Hamite. It's really about Hamites. You see what I'm saying? Hamites, we, you know, the Cushites enslaved us, going back to ancient Babylon. Of course, the people of, uh, of Mizraim uh, enslaved us during the time of Egypt, and we had constant conflict with the people of Canaan. All right, we were also pushed out with the people of Canaan into the interiors of Africa by the Romans. You see what I'm saying? And then we had joint kingdoms with the people of Canaan, like Carthage. You see what I'm saying? Nobody would dispute whether if Carthage was of both Israelite and Canaanite people, you know, that populated that, that, that empire and then went to war with the Romans. But basically, we're just taking a look at the full scope of the history of the nation of Israel, and we're taking a look at who has been our enemies, and pretty much everyone has been our enemies. So anybody outside of us, we're, you know, we're resentful towards, but nobody to the level of, you know, the so-called European man. You understand what I'm saying? Well put, brother. Um, now, I've personally subscribed to, because what I've, stu what I've found in my studies is, the world politics are based off of empires and nations, right? Yes, so empire is nothing more than a bunch of nations that come together, pay tribute to one king or whatnot. So my thing is, now with Israel, because 
I've been told my whole life I'm from the Washita Nation, which is uh, the indigenous people yes, from the Americas down in Carolina and South Carolina and stuff like that. So the nation I would subscribe myself to, as far as what I've been taught, would be Washita, which no white man name. We would name ourselves exactly. that. Now, as far as the empire, a lot of my brothers will say they're Moors and stuff like that. I don't subscribe to that. I subscribe to the empire of Ethiopia only because the word Ethiopia is not that country in East Africa. That country in East Africa was named Ethiopia in 1963 by Haile Selassie. So when we talk about biblical, Ethiopia just represents anything south of Egypt or Kush that the white people didn't know who they were. Exactly. So it's just like a synonymous like black people, you know yeah, what I mean? Exactly. Okay, okay. That's just what it means, like black people, you know? Yeah, exactly. So my thing is, the people in Ethiopia, like a lot of them aren't even Ethiopian. Like I actually went to Ethiopia. Tribes out there. And those tribes are the people that came from Arabia. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, yeah. And, and they were just the people before the Ottoman Turks mixed in and have what we now call the Arabs. They're like, like uh, no disrespect to you or not like even me, but like there's Ethiopians that are like your shade or a little yeah, bit yeah, light. Yeah, exactly. Okay, they're like, they're called Habesha, but those are the original, Habesha, yeah. those are the original Arabs. So here's my point. My point is, there's no country in Africa where the people are the same. Like they have different nations of and course, everything. Yeah. So how do we, until we figure out who is of Israel? Because to me, even if you're Hebrew, it really don't mean shit. It's really if you're Israel. Yeah, I mean, Israel, be honest, you know what I mean? About, yeah. So, if you're, how do we figure out, okay, because Israel being a nation, how do we figure out, okay, until we can figure out who is of Israel and who is really, you know, with our people, how can we come with a common ground? Like, my theory is if we come to uh, the table with the, this empire thing, like Ethiopia, right? We get the Nuwapians, we get the Muslims, we get the Hebrews, you know. If we're on at least one banner, that can, we can all say, you know, right now we would say black, but then people have a problem with that word, but yeah, yeah. other than the Ethiopian, are gonna deny. right, but they can't really say nothing about Ethiopian, because I'm like, you know, that's an archaic word, that's yeah, exactly. the, by the man who invented race, you know what I mean? So my thing is, I just want us all to get to the table, because I really feel, brother, once we get to the table, the Bible will prevail itself. See, that's what I think our problem is. You feel me? I feel like we can't. We can't have the Bible really prevail until we do something to get everybody to the table. Because the Nuwapian can't dispute the Bible because York in his first book said we're Hebrew Kushites. Exactly. So that's why when they argue with y'all, I'm like, y'all lucky I ain't with them. Because I always just bring the book out like, bam, can't say nothing. But, I mean, my biggest goal my whole life, I have went through different sciences. I'm sure you have, like a lot of brothers have. Because we all want to unify and we all want our people to overcome this, this bullshit. How can we do that in a way that where people aren't separatists, man? Like you and me having a great dialogue, even though you believe what you believe, I believe what I believe, or know what you know and I know what I know, we're having a great dialogue. We'll probably exchange numbers and do some shit after this. How can more brothers do that, man, without, you know, being so emotionally attached to, I'm with this camp, I'm with that camp, I believe in this, that, and third, you know what I mean? Yeah, dudes got to, uh, number one, get your damn ego out of the situation. That, that'd be a lot of brothers' problem. Like, like yesterday, we was on the streets, I was on the streets for five hours dealing with everything. Uh, we was uh, the brother Garfield, the brother Jabari, um, Reggie came out, the brother Anka Keck. You know, for five hours, like, we, you know, we could talk about whatever. And Reggie said, damn, like, you know, Gorilla, he's so comfortable just sitting here talking to us and like bro it's like it's not a big deal like number one the, uh, uh, something with me is 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 how secure I am. You see what I'm saying? That's something a lot of women, a lot of women I deal with always compliment. Like, damn, you you nigga, you really secure. I'm very I'm secure. Man, yeah. I'm a man who's very secure. Like, you're not finna. There's nothing that you getting ready to say right now that's finna have me like, oh, you know what I mean? Like, he just he just he just rocked me. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's just like I mean whatever. You know what I'm saying? We can build on whatever. Like, and that and that's how people got to be. Like, people be really you know overly sensitive about certain stuff, and it's like we got to really be able to talk about it. And the point you made about if we all come to the table the bible is going to prevail it's powerful that you're saying that because overall you know through the spirit and power of the most high what i'm going to be dealing with tonight and proving tonight is um you know it's, it's basically is essentially that that's that's basically what my presentation is going to be dealing with tonight is hey look you know what i mean at the end of the day this is it because what y'all hey, what y'all into is garbage you know what i'm saying so hey, anything else is 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 is, is futile and like i said I, I had this discussion with um with Jabari yesterday, I said, because, you know, Jabari, you know, he's 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 uh, some sort of a comedic priest. So his whole thing was, look, the mythos is more important than the history. And I said, hey, look, that's fine and cool. I, 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 we could, let, let's entertain the argument. I'm going to explain why. Because he's saying it doesn't matter whether or not this stuff happened. What matters more importantly than this stuff happened is how real we make it and how real we embody it, right? How real we could emulate, i.e., the story of Christ. You see what I'm saying? If you follow the example of Christ, 
that's the most powerful thing that you can really be doing in this time. You see what I'm saying? So, so I'm with you there. So I said, all right, if we do that, if we're going that way, then how the hell are we going to embody the mythos of, <laughs> of the society you're claiming we need to do? When this is clearly it, what we need to do. What story is more, what, what men have taken more stands than a, than a who the world calls Christ, than a Moses? You see what I'm saying? Than a Dave. Who is taking these stands? You ain't got nobody that's taking these stands. So if we just going off of that, off of that basis, then this way, like no matter what basis we're going to go off of, the scriptures are going to prevail. So it, 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 you as a brother that reads it, you know that. You see what I'm saying? Dudes who run from it, they're not going to see that. But clearly, if we just open the pages, it doesn't matter what you say. Can I follow this? Can I practically apply this to my life? And can I give this to it? Like all these brothers that's walking by that are, you know, that, that may not have any form of consciousness, I bet they got a Bible in their house. If they don't have a Bible in their house, they can pick one up for $1. You see what I'm saying? And they can begin to open that and extract the information and practically apply it instantaneously in their life. You can't do that with nothing else. You see what I'm saying? Which is another reason why it's so important and it has so much power. But go ahead, King. So now with that being said, Another thing that I feel divides divides is a whole Christian thing. Now, my understanding, if you follow Christ, you're a Christian. Okay, so for those who may feel that, because I know a lot of brothers out here say Christians this, Christians that, Christians this, and there might be brothers who think that you're talking to them, even though they may subscribe to a lot of doctrine that you, you know, everything that y'all are saying is just they have been taught I'm a Christian. What I've been taught was from Hebrews chapter 7, if you follow the order of Christ to become a Christ or then you're a Christian true, true indeed. so if somebody calls him so you would call yourself a Christian yeah technically so okay with being a Christian is there a way that we could try to implement to where brothers because this is how I feel the people that consider themselves Christians that are lost like the with the I'll say European Christianity for the sake of argument yes, sir. so with the people that are indoctrinated with the fake European Christian if we could get them to the table by simply saying hey you yeah we're all Christians but the Christians you're following are teaching y'all the wrong shit. Exactly. It would be more powerful than saying all Christians are stupid and y'all ain't got the right thing. Christians ain't because in actuality it's a hypocrisy because you're a Christian. Not you saying this, yeah, but of course, yeah. you know what I'm saying. You're a Christian. So hold on one second, brother. Yeah. The thing about it is when brothers use the term Christian, oftentimes what we do is we use it colloquially, right? So we're just we're just putting it out as a blanket statement or as a blanket term for people who subscribe to the tenets of European Christianity. You understand what I'm saying? Follow the white Jesus, etc., etc. That's usually how we use it when we down talk it. But then again, like you said, technically as followers of Christ, are we Christians? Because we know the word Christ deals with being anointed, etc., etc. Yes, we technically are. But a lot of people um, identify the term Christian with somebody who's a, a adherent to the tenets of Christianity, i.e. like um, when we dealt with some of these Christian apologists, they were like, oh, you guys aren't Christian because you don't believe in the Trinity, so you're not Christian. You see what I'm saying? So they, so Christianity believes if you don't, like they don't believe Jehovah Witnesses are Christians. They don't believe Mormons are Christians. Though they believe in Christ, but they don't acknowledge the Trinity, so then they're not Christians. You know what I'm saying? So so also that that plays a role in it as well, because we know certain terms we're not dealing with etymologically. We're dealing with newspeak, because sometimes usage supersedes etymology, you know what I mean? And a lot of times, like, like I, I always bring up the word gay for that. You know, we call something gay. Usually we're talking about something homosexual, but we know etymologically that just means happy. You know what I'm saying? So we're, we're, we're just in a world, we're in a, we're in a fake world, you know what I mean? It's just, everything is just fake, you know? So any, any word we use, we got to be careful. You know what I'm saying? Like, brother might say the word nigga, and they go, oh, you say a nigga, but it's like, I mean, if we just really dealt with the word nigga, we could take it back either to the Latin Niger, meaning black, or we could take it back to nigas, like some brothers would, meaning king, you know what I'm saying, meaning king. So, you know... We could go a lot of ways with it. You see what I'm saying? So your demeanor makes it to where ex and your demeanor, right? But also, uh, real quick, in, like in the book of Colossians, it's it, uh, Paul says the apostle Paul says to have your let your speech be seasoned with salt. So you also got to know who you're talking to, what you're talking about, and how to talk to. Them. Also, Bible also says you should know how to answer every man. You know what I mean? So those are powerful lessons to say we need to understand and assess what who is the audience we speaking to, and then you know. Allow that to set into your mind before you say the things you know that come out of your mouth because we're trying to reach people. And sometimes if people act unreachable. Hey, well we just gonna cuss them out. You see what I'm saying? That's cool. But go ahead, King. I was just gonna say, man. Uh, one thing is you can't be a Christian if you don't follow the commandments. Point blank. Period. period. So I do agree with the brother when he says, you know, you can't just say I've, I accept Jesus as my Lord and Savior and I'm a Christian. That's not what a Christian is. Right. If you don't follow the laws, statutes, and commandments of the Most High, you cannot be a Christian. If you are not. 
Uh, we'll get into the, the different breakdown, but if you're not melanated, I'll just go right there. You can't be a Christian, yeah, point sure, blank, period. Sure. You know what I mean? And I feel like with Israel, um, my thing is, we'll, Israel will champion. You know, we just got to get some shit straight, you know, get everybody to the table and really hash this thing out. You know what I mean? And um, if, if y'all could just, y'all can't see what I see right now, but if y'all could look behind yeah, me. I'll, 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 yeah. Yeah. Oh, thank you, Brother King. Bruce, thank you, my lord. Man, if you can see behind me, you know, the brothers is really out here, man, really doing I came all the way from California. We don't see too much of this at back home, you know what I'm saying? So this is really powerful and really exciting, you know what I'm saying? However, um, at the same token, I'll say this, though. You know, a lot of what these brothers have to say, I may or may not agree with. A lot of what they say, I do agree with. Uh, we all come from the same book. But one thing I really love and appreciate about these brothers is they're willing to sit down at the table so that we can figure it out. Because at the end of the day, their hearts is in the right place, which is saving our people. And that's what it's all about, man. So to you, brother... Yeah, my man, my condolences, brother. Yeah, uh. Something just happened. Yeah, somebody <laughs> just got daggered. Yeah. About to fall in, King. Yeah, no, no. We ain't knocked up. Check this out, bro. We uh, we we be in San Bernardino too sometimes. Oh, do y'all? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So plug in. You you, you, I, you, I, you with the I U I C? No. Nah. Okay. I got I got into it with them brothers. Not not, yeah, not into it, but like. Yeah, no, nah, they, 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 they. Nathan, yeah, Nathan, Nathan, yeah, Nathan, yeah, Nathan, yeah. But now, nah, um, yeah, man, just plug in with me on the book. Okay. You know what I mean? Gorilla Hebrew. Yeah, look up Gorilla Hebrew. I'll pop up. I'll okay. Pop up. I'm War Cloud, so you already know. All right, what's up, brother? Slumber. It's going down, man. Thank you, Chief. Where were we prior to that? In Israel. Okay. That was our true home. Wait, give me the year. According to the Bible. What year? From the beginning of time, Israel was right. the land of right. the Lord gave us. 3200. No. 3200 BCE. When we came where out of Egypt, the Most High gave us All right. the land of Canaan. 30, as our home All right, land. listen to me. Whatever we year have documentation. Want. Whatever year it was. All right. I'm, I'm asking you. All right. Can I ask Egypt, one question? I won't that say nothing else. was given to us as our home. 3200 BCE. The so-called European, um, yeah, exactly. that's the date they give for the first dynasty of Kemet, 31, 3200 BCE. Well, that's not right, but that's not right. No, they dealing with no damn bro. That's document. They ain't dealing with no damn. That's why not? Why you don't want to deal with Kemet? Why don't you want to deal with Kemet? Where did you come out of? Where did you come out of? How we did that? Did you come out of Kemet? Did you, did you come out, wait, 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 wait. Did you come out of Kemet? Did y'all come? Where, where? Show me the clip right now. Show me the clip right now. Show me the clip right now. Shall not hearken unto you that I may lay my hand on Egypt. You hear what the Bible is saying about the children of Israel? It says Pharaoh would not hearken unto Moses. What Pharaoh? That's a Greek word. Pharaoh is a Greek word. It's not Hebrew. It says, and bring forth my out. armies and my people, the children of Israel. Who is God's people? The children of Israel. The children of Israel. Egyptian. The children of Israel. The Bible says God's people are the children of Israel. Right. Right. Okay. Right. You never let me finish reading the paragraph about the book. Please finish. Yeah, finish, finish, finish that. Let him, let him read this. I am. I won't say nothing. Okay. A lot of our people, man, you brainwashed. Where's hey, Israel? You right. Isaiah 45, you 17, right. too. Now I'm going to read it from the top again. Mm -hmm. It says in the year 65 BC, the Roman armies under General Pompey captured Jerusalem. In 70 AD, General Vespasian and his son Titus put an end to the Jewish state with great slaughter. 
during the period of, of military governors from Palestine, uh, military governors of Palestine, many outrages and atrocities were committed against the residue of the people, meaning the Israelites. During the period from Pompey to Julius, it had been estimated that over one million Jews fled into Africa. Okay? Fleeing Roman persecution and slavery. The slave markets were full of black Jewish slaves. Of what? Of what? Okay? Black again, Jewish slaves. That's right. Yeah. The slave market was filled with what? Question. Again, Hold on, what you got You ain't listening. Go back. Say that again. Listen. Black. Deuteronomy 2864. The, the slave market was filled with what? Right right Isaiah 45. Jews are Hebrews. Listen, listen. Uh, the Jews, slave listen. markets were full of black Jewish slaves. Okay. Not black Jewish slaves, brother. But not Hebrews, okay. right? No. Before the it don't say Hebrews, it say Jews. Are no, Hebrews and Jews the same thing? But they're Jewish. Are, they, are, are Hebrews Jewish or are they Jews? talking about the Jew. Jew. Jewish and all that stuff is just short for the word Judah. Okay? No, 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 we don't follow a religion called Judaism. Right, right. The Jewish people are so-called white folks. We are the Jews. That's Even right. though he, he made a, a misstatement in the term Jewish, he's still talking about the children of Israel. That's right. right. All right, read what you got. Deuteronomy 28, 64. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 64. Now let's see if what we read out of this book is biblical prophecy. Read. And the Lord shall scatter thee among all people. What is the Lord saying? And the Lord shall scatter thee among all people. So due to the disobedience of the so-called, uh, 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 due to the disobedience of the children of Israel, so-called black folks, Negroes with hard heads, read. From the one end of the earth, even to the other. So the Most High said he was going to scatter us from one end of the earth, even to the other. Read. And there thou shalt serve other gods. And when we got into these captivities, it says there we shall serve what? Other gods. Kemet gods, Islamic gods, That's right. Babylonian Where? gods, right. Buddhist Where? gods. Where? 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 In the land of our captivity. Where was that? In America. Hell. This is one of the lands of our captivity. Read. Which neither thou nor thy fathers have known. So the Bible says that our forefathers never knew a damn Kemet. Right. The Bible says our forefathers never knew Buddha. Right. Or any of these other gods. Right. Read. Even wood and stone. Even wood and stone, particularly talking about Islam and Christianity. That's right. Okay? Shakespeare was a black man. Wait, wait, why do you say Christianity though? Because Christianity is that is that stone religion that is, I mean that wood religion that is talking. But you all are Christians, right? We're not, we're, listen, understand something. He's trying to mix words and, and place the magic, right? When you read in the Bible, the original apostles of Christ were Christians. Right? So we are Christians, but they have taken they have taken our culture and turned it into a fake religion. Can, well, I, can I ask you a question? In the Bible, right? Hebrews seven. I'm saying Hebrews seven. Religion in the Bible called Christianity. Facts. Religion. I agree. I say Hebrews seven. Bible that called Christians were who? Were those who were Christians, who followed well, Christ. Well, who were they, particularly? In Israelites. The who in, in the Bible particularly? The disciples. There it is. So when the Bible talks well, about Christians, it was talking about the Israelites that walked with Christ. Can I ask well, I asked this question because Hebrews 7 is why I asked, brother. Hebrews chapter 7 is why I asked that, that question. Well, because as you guys know, Jesus was, he wasn't born a Christian. He became a Christian. He became a Christ. He was born from Judah. He was a king. He wasn't a priest. He learned from Melchizedek in Hebrews 7. And I'm, I'm, I'm saying it for a reason. How was Jesus going to be born a Christian when I you just said Christian? Yeah, I, said, I said he wasn't. I'm telling you. No, no, no. no, no. I, I wasn't saying that. I wasn't saying that. No, 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 no. No, no, no that's not what I said. I'll, I'll repeat it, though. What I said was, I said Jesus was not born a Christian. He had to learn how to be a Christ. And I said that's in Hebrews. Let me finish. I didn't, I didn't say it wasn't. But, but that's semantics, what y'all do, because I didn't say it wasn't a title. I said he had to learn how to become an anointed one, which is Christ, because that's what you all call him, and your organizations are named after Christ. So he had to become a Christ by Melchizedek, who was not, a Israelite, which means he learned from a non-Israelite. Am I wrong? This is this is New Testament, Hebrews chapter seven. But he learned from a non-Hebrew. He learned from. No Wait, hold on. Wait, hold on. He learned from Melchizedek, a non-Hebrew, a non-Israelite. He's from Salem. Who was the first tithe given to? Abraham gave the first tithe to who? Melchizedek, a non-Israelite. Wait, do you, do you have, do you have, let's do it. Brother, uh, 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 kind of sort of, kind of sort of for you. Uh, let me hear it for you. He don't even understand the doctrine. Well, he said, 
He said, he said the God of Israel, hold on, you said the God of Israel does not love Egypt. That's what he said, right? So if I show you in the Bible where God loves, hold on, if I show you in the Bible, hold on, I'm going to use the Bible. I'm not going to talk, I'm show you in the Bible. Let me see. Oh, yeah, Hebrews 7. Hold on. Okay, it's the book of Hebrews, chapter 7, verse 14. For it is evident. Hold on, hold on. Yo, hold on, hold on. Hold on, yeah. He don't want y'all to get away. You're not. Just wait, we're going to do this. You didn't get you still have not proven yet. How long I've been here for half an hour? I'm fucking sweating. I'm sweating, waiting for the answer. Look, I've been here for half an hour, waiting for the answer. I'm not out of order, brother. I want to hear it. I need for you to shut. Do, do, do I need to repeat the answer, the question? Do I need to repeat the question? Go ahead, do your thing, brother. You know, it, we live in this place known as America, which we subscribe to it being Babylon. That's right. Babylon means what? I'm indigenous. I'm indigenous, brother. Yeah, I'm from here. I'm indigenous, I'm indigenous here. I'm not from the white man. I'm not from Africa. I'm Washington. Real. It's the book of 1 Corinthians, chapter 14, verse 40. Let all things be done decently and in order. Right, that's why I said let us deal with this brother first. Right, because it came up first, and she can deal with you, brother. She, she was going to have order up here. Because that's the problem with America, it's nothing but confusion. You got, you got women walking around here trying to be men. Men walking around here trying to be women. That's just confusing. So we're going to have a little order up here. Go ahead, get that in you. You, 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 you want wanted that? Something? Yeah, but just bring it out, because he said it. All right. and it will Book of Hebrews, chapter 7, verse 14. For it is evident that our Lord sprang out of Judah. Where did he come from? Sprang out of Judah. So that word Jewish, ish, meaning pertaining to, the, who the world only calls Jesus Christ, came out of uh, the tribe of Judah, which makes up one of the 12 tribes of Israel. So that's his descent. That's it on that? Yeah. Okay. Now back to this original question. He asked, right, brother? Yes. You're still with us, right? I'm with you. I'm with you. All right. You said, uh, where did the black man come from? Or where did you come from? Or just the black man in general? Was it Israel or Africa, right? Africa, proper, almost. Valley. Okay, okay. Where the oldest human bones of autotomically modern human were found. Ethiopia. Right. Ethiopia, okay. Africa. Ethiopia, right? And not just the bones, the writing, the uh, the, uh, the pottery, um, the jewelry. Okay. Um, it was a civilization going on. Okay, because over a hundred thousand years ago in Africa, a lot of people would come in. They always yell, Africa, Africa, Africa. There was a civilization going on in that region. But, but, okay, so let me ask you: Africa is made of how many countries in Africa? About 50, about, about 50 what? 50, 55? Yeah, yeah, somewhere right? around yeah. So when you just say Africa, you, that's not really being specific then, right? 54 There's 54 countries right. in Africa. Right. So when you say, so when we are... That's people now. That, that's so now. Just, right, when we are people that subscribe to Kimmy, when you just say Africa, that's not a specific country. Get a uh, Galatia. You're not answering the question. You have not proven where we are. Brother, you, know, I, you didn't give me the chance. Okay. I just asked you how many countries. You said 53. I right here said it's 53. Now. Now, 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 right now, now right now. So when, when you but we talk about 150 thousand years ago. That's what we're talking about. A lot, a lot of the, a lot of the brothers that subscribe to Kimmy just say Africa. They don't stop.